Hi, Keith Young here. In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to use GIMP, the GNU image manipulation program, to create Facebook memes. So let's get started. Uh, if you haven't launched the program, go ahead and do that. And what we're going to do is create a new document. So go to the File menu and choose New. And here we have some options. Here is where we can set up the size of our document. So for a Facebook meme, a size of 800 by 600 pixels is a, a pretty decent size. So we can go ahead and leave it at the width 800 and the height 600. If yours is not that, go ahead and set it to that. And make sure that your units are set to PX or pixels. We shouldn't need to bother with the advanced options, but just in case, under the advanced options is where you can change the resolution. Since we are creating an image that's supposed to go on the web, the proper resolution is 72 pixels per inch. So mine is already set to 72, so go if yours is not, go ahead and set yours under the advanced options to 72 pixels per inch. The color space should be RGB color and you can go ahead and fill it with your background color and then click OK my background color just happened to be red uh, which is not the color that I want for my meme so I'm gonna go ahead and change it there's a couple of ways to change this and the first one that I'm gonna show you is by using the paint bucket the paint bucket um, once you select it in the toolbox has some tool options underneath the main tools so you can set the and change the opacity you can also set it to use the foreground color fill the background color fill or a pattern color fill right now we're going to go ahead and use the foreground color fill which is this box right here the background is the red color box underneath the black so I can actually use the black and if I want to use the black I just go ahead and click my paint bucket on the document and it changes the document to black if I wanted to choose a different color however I would simply click on the foreground paint chip and then I could use the color sliders here to choose a different color um, so over on the right you have what's called a hue slider which allows you to choose the hue of the color that you want and then in the main box you can choose how bright you want the color or how much black or white you want to add to the color by clicking and dragging around these crosshairs okay so I'm gonna choose this nice dark purple color and then click OK and now that just changed the color in this box here if I want to apply the color to my document I need to click my paint bucket on top of the document the next way to change the background color is by adding a gradient. You add a gradient by clicking on the gradient tool which is next to the paint bucket and once again there are some options that you can choose from that will change how the gradient behaves. I would like to use the foreground to background color fill which is the default foreground to background. So the gradient uses the foreground color set here uh, in the toolbox so I'm going to change the foreground color from purple to black and then click OK and I'm gonna go ahead and leave the background set to red if your background is not set to red go ahead and click on that background color swatch choose the red hue to the right and then click and drag your crosshair so that you have a nice red color and then click OK and then you simply click and drag with your gradient tool to create a gradient. My gradient I want it to go from the top to the bottom. Alright and now we're going to need something to actually paste in or some text to create our meme with. What I did was I went to Internet Explorer and got a quote from a brainy quote uh, from Dr. John Henrik Clark. I copied this and now what I'm going to do is paste it so I need to select the text tool and what I'm going to do with the text tool is click and drag to create a text box 
Once that box is created, I'm going to right click in the text box and choose paste. You'll notice that the color is the foreground color of the text and I can change that if I want. So if I want to change this, all I have to do is click and drag across my text to select it. Click on the color box here and then I'm going to choose a white color in the color picker and then click OK. I'm going to select the top portion of my text and then I'm going to increase the font size by clicking in the upward arrow right here next to the font size. I could also click to select and enter in a value and then hit enter as well. I'm going to keep increasing this till it fills the box a little bit more. The tool options to the right in the toolbar will allow you to change the justification or the alignment of your text so I can align it to the left, I can align it to the center, or I can align it to the right. I can also justify the text so that it fills the entire width of the box. Right now I think I'm going to have it right justified. If I want to, I also have the options in the tool options bar to change the, uh, the indentation for the first line of the type. I can also change the spacing between the lines of type. And then finally I can change the spacing between the letters themselves. So the higher the number, the further apart the letters themselves become and the lower the number the closer the letters become alright um, so there's my text on top of my background so I've made a custom meme and the last thing I want to do is create a nice drop shadow for this text and fortunately in GIMP it, it's very easy to do what I need to do is go to the filters menu scroll down to light and shadow and choose drop shadow. The dialog box for the drop shadow pops up and I'm going to accept the defaults and then click OK. GIMP creates a nice drop shadow behind the type which is actually on a new layer in the layers panel. So that was the basic steps for how to create a basic meme from a quote inside of GIMP. Stay tuned for the next tutorial while I, where I will show you how to add an image to your custom meme and then save this meme um, as something that you can use on Facebook. As a matter of fact, we'll go over how to save this right now. Go to the file menu, choose save, and down at the bottom of the dialog box we want to click save by file type and the default type for this is the uh, GIMP image so that's how to save it just to save your document which is .xcf you're not going to be able to uh, use this file format on Facebook so this will just be something that you can go back and edit inside of GIMP alright I'm gonna show you we're gonna go ahead and cancel out of this and go file export and now we're going to export this as a JPEG file. So click on select file type and then choose JPEG image. And then in the name, go ahead and give a name to your meme. I'm going to name mine John Henrik Clark meme. Make sure you save it somewhere that you're going to remember and then click export you can change the quality of your export here the lower the quality the smaller the file size but you'll also start to get some distortion for your image so since I want high quality images to upload to Facebook I go usually leave this set to 100 and then click export this file will be exported to your documents folder I'm just gonna go ahead and go there now just so we could take a look Here's my Dr. John Henrik Clark meme. I'm going to right click on it and preview it. 
and this will be what it looks like when you upload it to Facebook. This is Keith Young and I'll see you next time.